Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from Pakistani Prime Minister Amran Khan. They discussed strong and deep-rooted historical relations of friendship and cooperation between both countries and ways of bolstering them in all fields. They also discussed ways of boosting bilateral cooperation and combating the novel coronavirus COVID-19. His Majesty the King lauded distinguished relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Pakistan, describing them as deep-rooted and based on common interests as well as mutual respect and understanding. The Pakistani Premier expressed thanks and respect to His Majesty the King, the Bahraini government and people for the care given to the Pakistani community in Bahrain. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, says Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's winning fourth place internationally in the eighth edition of the Sheikh Hissa bin Muhammad Al Nahyan Award for the Holy Quran competition. The achievement was made in the remote competition by female competitor Zain Khamis Abdullah Naimi in the memorization of the whole Holy Quran category. The minister described the accomplishment as an extension of the series of achievements brought about by Bahrainis in the international Holy Quran competitions. He stressed that the achievements brought about by Bahrain youngsters are the uh, dividend of continuous support and care of His Majesty the King to all programs aimed at serving the Holy Quran. The Justice Minister took pride in the honorable ranks achieved by Bahraini competitors in the international Holy Quran competitions, which reached over 70 ranks and wins. The Minister of Health, Faiqa Saleh, participated in the 73rd World Health Assembly held for the first time remotely at the organization's headquarters in Geneva in the presence of member states. The Kingdom's statement during the session highlighted the Bahraini government's comprehensive approach in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic, which had a central role in mitigating the spread of the virus. The statement affirmed the importance of unifying efforts, cooperating and taking comprehensive measures to combat the spread of the pandemic. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid al Mana, announced that the ministry introduced quality experiment that used new medical robots at the isolation wards in isolation and treatment centers, adding that it is the first of its kind in the kingdom. He noted the ministry's regular follow-up on the developments and technologies that are being presented in the field of diagnosis and treatment of the coronavirus. For her part, the Assistant Undersecretary for Resources and Services, Fatma al Ahmed, stated that modern technology has been utilized to reduce exposure between active cases and the medical team to protect their health and safety. She affirmed the endeavor of the ministry's affiliates to find advanced technological solutions, including utilizing robots to provide some nursing services. The Assistant Undersecretary for Islamic Affairs at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Dr. Mohammed al Ghattan, stated that the Zakat and Charity Fund at the Ministry, with the support of banks, companies, institutions and individuals, approved the disbursement of benefits to a new batch of insolvents with a judicial ruling issued against them. al Ghattan affirmed that the Zakat and Charity Fund for the fourth year in a row authorized the disbursement of 133,000 dinars to pay the debts of a new batch of insolvents. He noted that a number of criteria have been developed to take advantage of this initiative where a new limit has been set for the amount paid to not exceeding 5,000 Bahraini dinars. Within the framework of national precautionary efforts and preventative measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus, family counseling offices at the Ministry of Labor and Social Development are working to reduce the personal attendance of those benefiting from social centers, officers and all governments of the kingdom through providing services remotely through the ministry's official website and its electronic platforms on social media or through contacting the hotline so as to not uh, to conduct any processes 
through personal attendees except for matters of utmost importance and taking the necessary precautionary measures. In this regard, the director of the Social Welfare Directorate, Huda Mohammed Al Hamoud, affirmed that family counseling offices continue to carry out their tasks remotely and through modern technical teams or means in line with the procedures taken under these exceptional circumstances and to ensure that the work proceeds efficiently and smoothly. She pointed out that since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, family counseling offices have taken a number of initiatives to facilitate transactions for citizens and save time and effort and protect their safety and the safety of the ministry's employees, stressing that the ministry is constantly striving to meet the needs of citizens. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 4,410 with 21 recoveries and 190 registered new cases. Among the new cases, 117 are expatriate workers, 72 contacts of active cases and one travel related. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and the mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.